Yo, it's your boy Chris J, man. You tune in to Cool Committee TV. Make sure you don't fucking change the dial on that guy. Smoke some. Yeah. I'm serious than a motherfucker. Make a whole album about smoking weed. Nigga, ain't nobody about to buy no album about smoking weed. If I get some fresh ass beats like this right here, boy, could we sell millions? Weed is universal. You name me one race, don't smoke bud. <coughs> yeah. See? So we pass them. It's all good. It's all good. Passing, it's all good. I'm used to passing joints, man. Hey, hey, I'm hey. I'm used hey. to passing joints and shit. Sharing man. is caring. It's all Sharing good. is caring, it's man. All good. But uh, Mr. Chris J, how you doing, sir? What's, good, what's, what's going, going on? on? What's going Everything's on? Everything's good, man. I'm I'm cooling, man. I'm in Cashville, Nashville. You know, this is like a second spot for me, man. I, I'm I'm in Nashville a lot. You know what I'm saying? Thanks to Money Green and Kelly, um, Kelly Height. So, um, Devin the dude tonight. Kind of pissed that I can't smoke in the venue. I know, what, what, what's but up with that? but it's cool, I guess, bro. I, I guess you know. I don't know what's up with that, man. Uh, this is Devin the dude. This is Devin the. Dude. This is Chris J. Bro, he needs to smoke this Blackberry Kush, bro. I got it rolled up, ready for you if you need that, bro. Straight up. Mm. You said Blackberry Kush. Yeah, Blackberry Kush, bro. I, see, I started to I started to hit the dope lady. The dope lady couldn't come to Nashville. Okay. She couldn't come to Nashville. She was like, it's raining. She's not fucking with that weather. She's chilling in fucking Atlanta right now. I think a bridge just fell. I hope everybody in Atlanta is fucking straight. Um, fucking, a bridge fell? Like an interstate fucking bridge fell, bro. What's that? Bro, up 85. So, you know what I'm saying? Stay safe. Stay off the highways. Keep smoking that good weed. Dope lady, I'll be home to you soon, baby. Hey. He'll be home soon. And it's crazy here because they, like, shut school down today. Like, it didn't, uh, rain, it didn't even rain. I think it was, like, some heavy wind, and that was about it. But, you know, that, that's how it goes. I guess, bro. I mean. Tell the, tell the people where you're from, man. Uh, I'm originally from Columbus, Georgia. Okay. Um, you know, I went to school down in Daytona Beach. You All know right. what I'm saying? So, shout out to the alumni, Bethune Cookman. Okay. You know, okay. uh, they've definitely been a, a big part of, you know, my career so far. Um, thus far. You know what I'm saying? So, uh, yeah, shout out to Daytona Beach, and then um, Atlanta kind of adopted me, bro. So I've been in Atlanta for the past three years. Um, we've been putting in a lot of footwork, you know what I'm saying? And um, it's been a grind, dog. You know what I'm saying? So uh, yeah, like I told you earlier, country kid, city dreams. That's what's up. That's what's up, man. I've been watching your career, man, and kind of take me through the mindset of, you know, you know, the grind of trying to make it in Atlanta. Or even on the independent scene, like take take somebody through that like mind state and through that process. Man, I kid you not, man. For probably about six months straight, bro, I probably did half a year every night. I want to say every Tuesday we were at a department store, like really pushing the same song, the same song, till we really broke through. I mean, cause I'm just being honest, bro. A lot of people scared to really put that weed on camera, put that weed, like really be about it. You know, a lot of people they they weed hype. They not really like that, bro. Okay. Um, but it's been a grind, man, like for real. Um, Atlanta wasn't always just, you know, embracing what I was trying to do. You know, I really had to show them that that's what I was really about. You know what I'm saying? So it, it took a it took a little minute to, to actually break through in Atlanta on the indie scene okay. for them to respect it as, oh no, how much for the quarter? Like, that's right, Chris right, J, you right, feel right, me? Right, right. So it took a minute, bro. It's hard, bro. If you if you ain't got no heart, man, I don't suggest, you know, getting into this, this industry, bro. That's real. Yeah. You, you brought up a good point about like, people not wanting to embrace or like put like weed on camera or embrace that kind of I mean, personification like i mean bro people are halfway in and halfway out bro you feel me like there is no plan b with me so i mean i'm i'm cool with what we got going our whole everything is cool but a lot of people are halfway in and halfway out man you know what I'm saying? I mean, I think that we just got to the point where they they know real, real recognize real. That's real. That's real. hey, that's real, man. Mm -hmm. That's real. I mean, take for for people that are not familiar with Chris J and what you're about and what you stand for. Can you kind of you know uh, summarize um, a little bit? I'm the I'm the everyday dude who I didn't necessarily I ain't saying I necessarily just came from the slums. But when there was nothing given to me either, I had to work for everything I have. You feel me? And 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 I sustained myself through a lot of a lot of the hard times as far as being a young black entrepreneur. You know, um, like the times that we have now, dealing with this crazy shit as far as the you know presidents and a lot of things going on in the world, bro. You feel me? But I'm I'm the hustle. 
I'm the hustle. I just happen to be high. The weed never stopped me from working. Right. You feel me? So, I mean, when you listen to my music, you're going to get, you know, super vibes. You're going to get, you know what I'm saying, kind of a Texas swinging, you know, right. sound yeah, from yeah, me. You get that you feeling. Me? Yeah, I'm, I'm inspired by a lot of that shit, man. Um, but, yeah, all positive work, though, man. That's what's up, yeah, man. That's what's up. You know, it's funny because, like, people kind of associate weed with, you know, not being productive. Right. You should check out Audio Trapping. I dropped a video called Audio Trapping probably like a month and a half ago. No video, but Thank you, bro. But the reason why I was working out in the video and smoking in the video was to try to take the stigma off of, the, of, of oh, if you smoke weed, you're, you're super lazy. That's not necessarily true. It's about what you really want to do and how you use the weed. I mean, to be honest, some people use the weed for medication. Some people use it to ease their mind. Some people, they had a long day at their job and they tired of their boss, and, but they got to pay their bills. So they going to hit this joint, you know what I'm saying, call it a day and go back tomorrow. You feel me? It's not necessary. You got to take that 90s stigma off, man. That shit is played. Right. If you ask me, man, right. that it's played like as far as sitting on the couch. Oh my gosh, like we, we have nothing going on. That's not what we got going on. I wrote that weed, that's because that's what I believe in. That's real, man. Yeah. That's real. Yeah. You know, uh, with the, the past eight years with Obama being in office and stuff like that, we saw a lot more states legalize marijuana. Mm -hmm. It became more socially acceptable. And now you kind of see, like, with the Trump, a lot of things are getting rolled back. Mm -hmm. Also, with like marijuana regulations and things like that, they're trying to clamp down even more. What, what do you feel about that? I feel like I feel like we should just let it be weed, bro. I mean, I get it. They want to put tax on it so they can, you know, charge it and, you know, regulate it and have control over it how they would like to. But man, like lead it. I mean, when the last time have you seen somebody like just trip trip the fuck out over weed over being high, bro? I don't know. I can't recall. I don't know. I I think fucking I smoked Dom out a little earlier so he fucking went to sleep, but I mean, other than that, like it was nothing serious. Woke up, ate some hot chicken. Shout out to Princess. Right. You know what I'm saying? I mean, I think that they should just back the fuck up off that shit. Hey, Trump, back up, man. Back you know up. We came a long way, man. And For we're sure. going further. It's over 30 states yep. legalized yep. Uh, marijuana. Yep. Um, get into the music. What What was your, what first got you into it? Peace out, so smoke that shit. Smoke that shit. Hey, we lit, man. I thank you for the love, dog. I appreciate it, man. Let's smoke some shit. Take another. My dog say he missed that bitch. Whoa. Smoke it. Still smoking. Yeah, yeah. Thanks for the love, dog.